Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kaiser, and back here today with part four of the DVD and Blu-ray collection. Like I said, now my son's back in school, I'm able to get some videos done. Um, I thought I'd start off with the one thing that did turn up today was all superheroes must die. Um, it says on here it's a, a English dub or original Japanese, but um, I did not know this was a Japanese film. It doesn't look like it's a Japanese film, but apparently it is. Um, <clears throat> it says on here, meet heroes meet Saw. Um, that sounds interesting. I'm guessing it's sort of more of a um, horror esque, not horror esque, but maybe like a anti hero type movie. Um, looks interesting, uh, 78 minutes long, so I'll definitely be looking forward to checking this one out. Um, let me know if you've seen this movie and what you think of it. Then we have Jurassic Croc, uh, another one of these giant killer monster animal movies. Um, I'm guessing low budget, but maybe high reward. <laughs> then we have Dawn of the Dead. Um, I, I'm not sure if this is the original or the remake. Um, it doesn't actually say um, if it's the original or the remake. Um, by the looks of it, I'm guessing it's the remake. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's the remake, Dawn of the Dead. I don't think I've seen either of the Dawn of the Dead movies. Uh, but I've heard the remake is pretty good. Uh, then we have Sick Nurses from the makers of On Back and Chocolate. I've not seen either of those films. I do have the On Back film. It says, Hostel meets the grudge. Don't miss. Um, I'm guessing like it's a mix of torture porn, maybe with some supernatural things going on. Um, I think it's from Taiwan, Taiwan with English subtitles, although um, I did notice someone had left a comment on the Amazon saying that it doesn't actually have English subtitles. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. Then we have Silent Hill. In my opinion, this is actually one of the best video game movies out there. Um, it's not perfect by any means, no video game movie is. But I actually think this movie is really good. As a standalone horror movie, it's pretty good, creepy, um, in, embodies what Silent Hill really is about. And I know there is a new one in the work, um, so I'm looking forward to checking out the new one. Um, I think this is probably one of my favourite video game horror uh, movies in general. Really enjoy this film. Um, said not perfect, but it is creepy. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, it's better than the Resident Evil movies, that's that's for sure. Uh, then we have the uh, sequel, Silent Hill Revelations, which technically, like, this one, I think, follows Silent Hill, kind of follows Silent Hill 2 a little bit, um, Silent Hill 2 and 1, whereas this one tends to, uh, is more like Silent Hill 3, you know, with the girl in Silent Hill 3. Um, I don't remember this one being as good, but it was still somewhat entertaining, but it's been a long time since I've seen this one. Then we have Sweeney Todd, um, Demon of Barber Street. This is basically a horror musical. Um, I didn't think I'd enjoy this film. Um, I watched it a long time ago with my partner, and I thought it was actually somewhat decent, you know. Um, Tim Burton, of course, Johnny Depp, I believe the, uh, the, the female lead is actually... Um, Tim Burton's wife or, or something like that I could be wrong um, it, it makes me laugh because it says on here oh from films like Edward Scissorhands and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, but yeah this obviously Sweeney Todd the older I, I don't know if it's true or not but you know the whole guy that um, killed people in a barber's chair and dropped them down went to the uh, furnace and they would get turned into meat pies um, but yeah, if you're looking for a horror musical, this one's not a bad one. Then we have Smiley, which I thought this, this I haven't seen it, but it's got a bunch of like um, YouTubers in it. I think like Tabuscus and that was in this film. Um, I know Tabuscus, I don't think he still does videos. Um, I thought, I always thought that was really creepy, but I actually realised it's actually a mask. I thought that was the actual guy's face, but it's not, it's a mask. Still haven't seen this film, but I hear it's a decent sort of horror movie with some comedic um, elements to it. Then we have the original Poltergeist 25th Anniversary Edition. Classic horror movie. Um, this is what a horror movie 
um, should be really, you know, a, a, a creepy house. It is a bit cliche, but it's one of the best of the ilk. Um, I can't believe there's like three Poltergeist movies and then the remake. Um, but obviously this movie was notorious for being semi-cursed, if you will. Uh, a bunch of people involved in the film were, were killed and died in accidents. I don't know if the movie's cursed or if it's just coincidence. Let me know what you think. Then we have The Host, which I believe is a Korean horror film. Um, I think it's like, um, I'm not sure if it's zombies or, or like a killer monster um, under the sea or something like that. I, I don't know, but I've heard good things about this one, about tremors or something along those lines. Then we have Half-Life with uh, Demi Moore. Um, I think it's a mix between a thriller with some supernatural elements going on then we have the brain and hollow point a double pack I've not seen either of these films most of the stuff here is actually horror today um, then we have the omen pentology um, it's a shame really because I the um, blue I have come across the blu-ray set a few times but it only includes um, the one two and three it doesn't include the uh, remake or the fourth film which is really weird um, I've not seen any of the Omen films. I might have seen part of the first one. Of course, Demon Kid, you know, Son of the Devil, that sort of thing. Um, but, yeah. Uh, then we've got two, um, some Purge films, Purge Election Year. I've seen this one, the uh, second one, and the first one. Um, I actually thought the first one was my favourite that I've seen um, anyway. Um Honestly, I think the idea of the purge is kind of an interesting concept, but at the same time, when you think about it, it is really dumb. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, everything's legal for 24 hours or 12 hours. It's, yeah, there's a lot of social commentary on this, political elements to it, but yeah, these movies, uh, you watch them once and then you either like them or you don't. I fall in the latter. Um, I'm not hugely into them. Um, but the first purge, I have heard good things about this one i've still not seen it myself there was also a purge um tv show as well on amazon prime uh, which i've still not watched but um i've heard this one is 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 much better than the uh, um the some of the other ones so i'll definitely check it out eventually uh, falling soldiers is a civil war um not civil war it's the uh, british um revolution uh, 1815 uh, I think it's the yeah French um, French English war, but with zombies. Um, I it, this could be really good or it could be terrible. I don't know, but I do like that cover. I really do like that cover. Uh, then we have Dead End, uh, filmed by Jean Baptiste Andrea. Um, Ray Wise is in this. Um, I'm guessing it's sort of a. Uh, um, Creature, I'm not sure if it's creature features or baby in the dark. Um, I don't know. It says it says a Christmas it's set in Christmas um, film. So maybe it's like a demon child, something along those lines. Then we have Dracula, Bram Stoker's one, the one with um, uh, Gary Oldman and uh, Keanu Reeves. I've heard this film. Some people love this film. Some people hate it. I can't say which one I'm at because I've not seen it myself. Then we got a triple pack with Vile and, and Chained and Carjacked. Um, I mainly wanted Vile, but then they I seen that they had this uh, triple pack for the same price as Vile, so I thought three films for one price. Um, Vile looked like an interesting one. It's basically um, people, um, they have these chemicals inside them that... Um, when it senses pain, it causes pain. And I always thought that's an interesting concept. Um, some sort of Nazi experimentation going on. WrestleManiac. I remember watching this film years ago on TV and forgetting what it was called. Um, it's basically about a killer wrestler, but it actually has Rey Mysterio Sr. Um, as the killer, which is really interesting. Um, I think that was Rey Mysterio's dad or his uncle, something like that. I don't know. Um, then we have Prey, um, a killer... Um, I think it's a lion or, or something along the lines of like zoo or something like that show. Um, killer lion going around. 
which is kind of, you know, it could happen. Interview with the vampire, kind of uh, one of these sort of um, romance period drama meets um, horror, um, different style of vampire. And honestly, like I said, I'm not a huge vampire guy. Uh, the Last House on the Left remake, this is the extreme version. Um, of course, The Last House on the Left is another one of those films that caused the video nasties, like, um, you know, I Spit on Your Grave S type thing. Um, so, I don't know how good the remake is, but I've not seen either. The Haunting at Whaley House, um, there's no back cover, just a small description, I'm guessing, like, Haunted House-esque. And then we've got some Underworld films, we've got Underworld, Underworld Revolution and Underworld Rise of the Lycans. I think there's five Underworld films, um, I know there is a 4K um, set so maybe I'll hunt that down one day and get that. I've not seen any of them, but I remember playing the video game back in the day on the PS2 and I loved the video game. It's not a great game by today's standards, but back in the day I really enjoyed it. Uh, then we have the Crazies remake. Um, I, I, I think I have seen this film, um, I have seen the original, um, I think the original is better with the actual, again, um, as many George A. Romero films were, uh, social commentary, um, but unfortunately the original doesn't hold up very well, and this one is much more gory and, uh, violent, many people say this is a, a, a small, um, a small time, um, uh, one of them things where the remake is actually superior to the original, but it's it's all um, subjective. Then we have Daughters of Darkness and Mirror Mirror, two um, films I have no clue what they are. Oh, I do have um, Underworld Awake, another couple of Underworld Awakening here as well, um, which is sealed. Wait. Oh no, so I do have the fourth one as well. So I have got, um, I think I'm just missing one of them. Um, yeah. Then we have Seven Days. I think this is sort of one of them disturbing films. I think it's to do with um, basically a guy getting revenge on something that happened to his daughter. Um, I've seen another film like that called The Torture. That was an interesting one. Um, check that one out if you haven't. Um, then we have Psychos in Love. Um, this is another um, Nordic um, version, but I've heard this film is like, uh, uh, you know, over the top, violent sex, you know, one of them films that were banned and stuff back in the day. Uh, Lady Vengeance, um, this is another sort of um, uh, attack revenge movie, I'm guessing. Um, so, uh, it's from the same person who did um, Old Boy, which is, of course, one of the um, notorious great films. I Know What You Did Last Summer. I've not seen this film, but this is another example of um, the, you know, the babysitter. Um, oh, the killer's in the house on the phone. Um, it weren't the first film to do that, but it was one that really mainstreamed it. Um, then we have Werewolf of the Third Reich, which has a really cool slip cover. I don't know how well you can see that, but I guess it is. So it's a uh, Nazi werewolf, because why not? Then we have Shark Puss vs. Petra Buddha, another one of these giant monsters, um, killer, you know, th sea monsters fighting each other. Um, Captivity, I'm guessing it's another sort of uh, film to do with like kidnapping and stuff. Wes Craven's Wishmaster, this just looks cheesy fun, um, I'm guessing, uh, I think there's four Wishmaster films, I could be wrong, um, Cry Wolf Uncut, I think this is a British film, I could be wrong though, um, it says Ultra Scary, Don't Watch Alone, well I don't know how true that is, uh, then we have the Chronicles of Narnia, this is a BBC, uh, and I want to say mini series, but it could have been a TV series, um, I have seen The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, but um, I haven't seen The Voyage of the Dawn Trader, Prince Caspian or The Silver Chair. Uh, one thing that really kind of bothers me is Disney did the first three books, um, but they didn't do anything after that. After The Voyage of the Dawn Trader, um, 
they haven't done the silver chair they haven't done the last battle and everything like that so disney man come on finish off the lion the witch and the wardrobes uh, the narnia series um you know and i actually enjoyed the disney narnia films um then we have the exorcism of emily rose i've heard this is a really good exorcism movie um of course there's so many exorcism movies it's hard to tell which ones are good which ones are bad um often cliches and stuff but i've heard this one's good i heard the contortionist movements are really good it's either that one or there's another one um from dust till dawn 2 texas blood money i've not seen any of the dust till dawn movies um you know it's uh vampires and guns and stuff um danny trejo's in this i think kevin bacon as well um robert patrick of course the t1000 uh, your next which i think is one of the best um modern day um home invasion movies this is really good um i remember really enjoying this one and the, the um the masks they wore always reminded me of like the wyatt family um from back in the day ghost ship which i love this film the opening scene in this is awesome um i i've always liked the idea of you know ships and things like that i i know the game uh, man of madan was definitely inspired by this movie for sure um but yeah i enjoyed this movie it's been a long time since i've seen it um scream three i've only i've seen the first and second one i do need to watch three four five and then obviously six coming out um I enjoyed the first and the second one. It's hard to really say whether the second one is superior to the first one because they're very similar. Um, I heard the third one is the weakest of the five I've heard though. Um, then we have Slender Man. Um, of course, um, there's a few Slender Man movies. Um, I, I think Slender Man is a creepy um, concept, of course. Is it a video game um, movie? Well, yes and no, because obviously Slender Man was originally a creepy pasta, um, you know, online um, horror stories, and then they made the video game a bit, and then obviously that became notorious. Um, so then we have Sator, the Beast Within. Um, I'm not sure if this is, by the looks of it, it's like um, a giant monster of sorts. Um, then we have. Um, the Deep Blue Sea Trilogy 1, 2 and 3. I've only seen the first one. I'm, I'm not a huge shark movie fan. But the first one's actually enjoyable. Um, some good comedic elements to it. Sort of cheesy of course. Samuel Jackson's in there. LL Cool J. Um, I don't know if the sequels have any of the returning characters. By the looks of it they don't. Um, let me know your favourite shark film outside of Jaws. Um, Blood Simple. I've heard this movie is really good. Um, and, that, and there's a little thing here with the bathroom and it looks like there's a guy tied up or something um, it just reminds me of saw that um, boogeyman I've heard this movie isn't very good uh, then we have the hills of eyes remake which I actually enjoyed this film um, I think it's it's superior to the original in the terms of gore and and stuff like that but the original obviously is, is still a classic um, the Grudge, which is the American remake with uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Um, I thought this was an okay film. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but I've not seen the original Duon films, so I can't really compare them. Uh, then we have The Grudge 2 and The Grudge, which are the um, original Japanese ones. Um, so, the two Grudge films. Creepy. Uh, the Evil Dead, the uncut version classic um many people say the sequel is superior to the original but it's hard to compare them because the sequel is like a remake if you will um then we have the devil's rejects which i i enjoyed this film i still not seen um the third one three from hell yet um i think out of the uh, i think they're called the firefly trilogy um i still think house of a thousand corpses is, is is the best out of the um the ones I've seen. Hannibal, of course, based on the uh, um, Hannibal, Hannibal. Um, House of the Dead 2, Dead Aim. Um, I'm hoping this is better than the last one that I watched. The first one was 
was absolutely terrible in a good way um but this one looks like it's gonna be much of the same i, I recognize that guy um emmanuel walker i recognize him from something i don't know the face is very familiar um a hostile trilogy on dvd i have got these on blu-ray now and this is sealed so if anyone's interested in taking this off my hands um let me know um, and I've seen Hostel 1 and 2, I haven't seen the first one, but I still think the first Hostel movie is, um, was awesome. Pulse, um, this is the American remake of the classic, um, I want to say Korean, but it could have been Japanese, ghost feature. Um, obviously the original had a, the idea of technology, um, taking over and stuff like that. Uh, then we got Tremors 1, 2 and 3, I've not seen any of the Tremors films. I think there's seven Tremors films. I could be wrong. It's either five or seven. Uh, then we have the original Office um, series one, two, and the Christmas specials. Uh, these are on BritBox and stuff now, um, but still, um, I've not actually. This is the one time where I've not I've not seen the British version of a show. Um, the 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 American one I love the American one, um, but I do need to sit down and watch the original. Um, I hear they're very similar but obviously um david brent um of course does appear um of ricky gervais he does make some cameos in the american um one which was awesome as well episode 50 another found footage horror movie i think i have seen this and i don't remember it being very good um a ken pack with 10 horror movies it's got deep red the hatchet murders not the original Deep Red, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, Christmas Evil, Web of Spider, uh, Circus of Fear, House on the Edge of a Park, Messiah of Evil, Die Sister Die, Lady Frankenstein, The Werewolf and the Vampire Woman, and Sisters of Death. Um, I think some of these are on my um, 200 mo um, collection, but I think there's a few on here that aren't. Uh, Sinister 2... Um, I haven't got the first one. I've, a lot of people say the original Sinister is one of the scariest movies of all time. It is creepy, but I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> um, Shock Labyrinth 3D, which is a, I think it's a Korean or maybe a Japanese um, horror movie. Nice thick case there. Got both the 2D and 3D versions. Jacob's Ladder, which I hear is one of the best sort of psychological horror movies. Um, wasn't the first psychological horror movie, but it was one that really put it on the map. The Raven, based on the Edgar Allan Poe story. Ghost Boat, I don't know how good this is. Scar, and it does have the 3D glasses in there, so if I do want to watch it in 3D, it, the old uh, blue and white 3D style. Alien vs Ninja, this just looks insane, although the alien on the back, or that alien, Looks more like a Velociraptor than an alien. The original Sharknado. I've not seen any of these films, but I know they're just balls to the walls. The Eye with Jessica Alba, which I actually think is a remake. Um, I've heard good things about it. It's um, the idea of um, she, I think she has an eye um, replacement and the eye that she's got is like from a killer or something. The Hitcher, another sort of, uh, I think it's an Attack Revenge movie. And then the last two we have Stan Helsing, which is like a scary movie. Um, this movie is dumb, but it is funny. And last but not least, another um, classic modern horror comedy, Snakes on a Plane. I love this film. I used to watch it all the time when I was younger. Um, I've had it up here with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Um, the scene where the guy gets bit in the arse and he's like, you got to suck the blood out, I don't want to do that. Um, obviously when the, the snake comes out of the toilet, bites the guy while he's going for a piss. Oh man. Um, there's also snakes on a train, um, but I've not seen that one. And I don't know if they've got anything to do with each other, but um, yeah, snakes on a plane. Let me know your favourite killer animal movie. Um, and there we go guys, so mostly horror stuff today. Um, so I'm going to go and uh, chill for a bit. I've got some things that I need to do. We're waiting for apparently for an electrical inspection. They've not turned up yet. I said if they ain't turned up by two, I'm phoning and cancelling and getting a rebooked. Because um, I don't want them turning my electrics off when my son comes home from school and him kick off about it. Um, 
and yeah so as always guys if you enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like i'm going to watch um the 2000 summer slam to, uh, sorry survivor series tonight uh really been enjoying my wrestling recently so um and as always guys um comment below let me know if there's anything here that i should check out um i will get around to it eventually <laughs> and as always guys subscribe if you haven't already and join the family follow me on twitter and instagram at the mad tiger take care bye bye